Hello, Jennifer Tochi here, and I'm coming to you today to do my top 10 comedies video. Yes, I, you've seen the horror side of me, and you have seen some of the comedy side of me, but I want to do the top 10, yes. And I stopped at 10, it was very hard to do because... I love me my comedy movies too. Actually, I I love musicals too. Yes, I'm just an all-around girl, I guess. Okay, first one. 1988 starring Jeff Goldblum, Jim Carrey, and Damon Wayne. Ah, yes. Earth girls are easy. Yes. A UFO falls into Gina Davis's swimming pool, and out come three furry, furry aliens, which they shave, and they turn into hot Jeff Goldblum, hot Damon Wayans, and hot Jim Carrey. This is a funny movie. I like Julie Brown's character in it, especially when she she sings. Look, that's cool. Um. Number nine. Okay. 1985. Clue. I love all the crazy people in this. And my favorite actor in this movie. Could it be Tim Curry? Oh, yes, it could. But Christopher Lloyd's wonderful in it, too. I think about everybody in that movie. It's just cool. Okay, number eight. One Crazy Summer. Yes. John Cryer. Bobcat Goldthwait. Mm -hmm. And Curtis Armstrong. Don't be guessing what's, what's my number one yet. Okay. Yes. Hoops McCann. Goes on a summer vacation to to make the perfect love story. Draw the perfect love story so you can get into college. And there's a lot of great people in this. There's the Frog Brother. No. No, 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 no. What? What's not the Frog Brothers? The Stork Twins, yes. Stork Twins. One of them's Bobcat Goldthwait. One of them's Tom Villard, so I don't think they're exactly twins. Yeah. And, of course, my favorite, Curtis Armstrong. But I think my favorite scene in this movie is when Bobcat Goldthwait gets stuck in a Godzilla costume that he can't get out of. So he's running around and stomping everything that looks like he's just going to kill everybody. <laughs> How can you go wrong with that? Okay. Seven. Better Off Dead. Made by Savage Steve Holland. Same person who made One Crazy Summer. Hmm. But this was made before One Crazy Summer. Yes. And. Curtis Armstrong's in this movie. <laughs> and. John Cusack. Yes. And I don't remember his name, but he played Porky's in. He played Porky in Porky's. <laughs> yes. Poor John Cusack. His his girlfriend dumps him because she finds a ski instructor that is better than him and just around cooler than him. So he lives in a very weird family, and he's kind of weird himself. His best friend is Curtis Armstrong. Love it, love it, love Curtis Armstrong this movie, but love him in every movie. <laughs> okay, this one does not have Bobcat Goldthwait or Curtis Armstrong. In it. Yes, just one of the guys. Yes, Terry right here. Um, feels like 
since she's a girl and is always being told she should be a model that she isn't getting respect from her in her classes of journalist in the high school journalism so she decides to go to another school dressed as a boy and trouble ensues I guess and it's hilarious because I think Billy Jacoby the guy who plays her little brother buddy just makes this movie great yes Billy Jacob be telling her how men stand yes it's a great part in the movie Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Number five. I get delirious. Yes. John Candy in the movie Delirious. Yes, John Candy plays a writer of a soap opera. And he's in love with this lady right here. She's kind of taking advantage of that. And so, all of a sudden... All of a sudden, he becomes a part of the soap opera. Yes. Um, and he has his typewriter when he's in it and can write whatever he wants. And it'll happen in the soap opera. But if his typewriter goes bad, watch out. John Candy's so good in that movie. You don't, you can see him as the funny guy, but you also get to see him as the, like, James Bond man that he writes himself as. Okay, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Oh, and this is the perfect number four, is Police Academy 4, Citizens on Patrol. And Bob Keckles plays in it. <laughs> He plays Zed. Yes. The first, well, second movie where he's not the bad guy. He's cop. And of course, they want to, they, all the other actors are in it. Michael Winslow, Steve Gutenberg, David Graff. Yes, George Gaines. Lieutenant Lassard. And... They're trying to teach citizens how to protect themselves. And of course, Zed falls in love, which always is good. Because I love to see Bobcat fall in love. In the movies, anyway. I'm still waiting for her. And Curtis Armstrong. Hey. Now, this movie has turned me into the horror lover... That I've become these days. I saw this. Well. Ma I made friends with the. You probably have heard this before. But I made friends with the video store guy. And. Got free movies a lot. And this. This movie. Summer School. Made me into the. Chainsaw Massacre fan I am today. Because of two characters. Yes. Chainsaw and Dave. Dean Cameron plays Chainsaw. Which, oh my beating heart. Yes. They, Shoop, Mark Harmon, has to teach summer school to the people who didn't do very good on English, in the English. So... They start misbehaving, and he says, "If you do, I'll do one thing for you if you pretend like I'm teaching you. And one of them is Chainsaw and Bill say, we need to play Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And of course, I fell in love with Texas Chainsaw Massacre and every other horror movie around that time. Yes, there's only one movie here that's two movies here 
that I've already shown that one, one movie, like Delirious, that was made in the 90s, and of course this is a 1975 movie, but it's not the movie, it's my one of my calendars I have for it. Do, 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 do. Yes, the Rocky Horror Picture Show. That is my number two with Tim Curry in it again. I don't know how a man can look so handsome in women's lingerie, but he manages to pull it off. He, he can pull off anything. Okay, and number one, I bet people who know me will never guess this. <laughs> Uh, let's see my tattoo again. <laughs> oh, 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 guess what it is? Yes, Revenge of the Nerds with Curtis Armstrong. And I'm going to tell you something. I have a son whose middle name is Curtis. <laughs> it's true. Okay. Yes, I love Revenge of the Nerds. Anything about Revenge of the Nerds. Curse Armstrong was my favorite, of course. Timothy Bushfield, of course. And then Anthony Edwards. I liked him better in this than I did in um, Top Gun. How can you go wrong with it? Just doesn't matter. Yes, so that's my top 10 comedies. Yes, I realize that eight of them are from the 80s, and there's a lot of guys that show up. But hey, I'm a fan of those guys. So hopefully this video will not take eight hours to come up on my YouTube, like my last one did. So thank you for watching. Goodbye.